Welcome back to Cooperage uh, Crown in Mumbai, where we are going to witness the second semi-final of the senior girls category, where Chaturdas Palli High School, Kolkata, would take on Father Agnol Multipurpose School and Junior College, Mumbai. And that comes live on Sony 6, Sony 6 HD, Sony Live, and on the two platforms, uh, rfyouthsports.com as well as geosports.com and this is the national finals in the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports the referee again Juhi Shaw the lady referee and in the blue are of course the Father Agnol multi-purpose school and junior college the local team from Mumbai the city champions and Kolkata City champions again, Chaturdas Pali High School, Kolkata. Both the teams lined up, and we would all stand up for the national anthem. Stand for the national anthem. Again, a lot of uh, adrenaline flows through the system when you listen to the tune of the national anthem. And this the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports has been across India, Pan India, eight tournament zones: Chennai, Delhi, Goa, Guwahati, Kochi, Kolkata, Mumbai, and Pune. And the tournament being held in two phases. Both the captains exchanging the pleasantries, the keepsake photographs, and there would be the toast. Chaturdaspalli High School, Kolkata. They are, uh, of course, the Group A runner up. In the senior girls category, they played uh, three matches in the league stage 1 2, lost one. They have scored. Uh, 46 goals and two goals scored against them it looks nearly impossible and father agnol multi-purpose school and junior college mumbai they have played uh, three matches the match official is again uh, the lady the one who officiated the first uh, semi-final of the senior girls category juhi show Assisted by Sunil Power and Simran Sergil on the line. The fourth uh, official, Ravi Pandey. So the team in the red is Chatudda Spalli, Rinki Arao, Jyoti Sharma, the captain, Soma, Mausumi, Kea, Madhubita, Rocky Kayal, Puja Sri, Sayani, Aloka, and uh, Susmita Bardhan. They are coached by Ram Prasad Mandal. And the local team again, Father Agnol, Multipurpose School and Junior College, Mumbai, Ankita, Puja, Suti, Lakshmi, Priti, Amruta, Afreen, Pranali, Mamta, Jyoti, Akanksha, and Araminta. They're coached by Supit Chathana. So we're almost ready for the kickoff. Uh, with Father Agnol, the Mumbai side kicking up. They're attacking from the left or the right. And in the reds are Chatudda Spalli. Kolkata side. They are attacking from the right to the left.
We call the Agno coach. So come on, India, let's play. That's the, the slogan across India. The Reliance Foundation Youth Sport spotting talents, grooming them. The institutions would uh, receive a lot of sport equipment. The budding talents would be uh, given scholarship offering. Space on the right, Chilti. Can she deliver into the area? Chance there for Pranil. This is the second semi final on the senior girls category. They're all under 18, the senior girls. The 11th and 12th standard students. All are born on or after the 1st of July 1998. Good long ball in. Should be offside. Tanali Seti. Sending that pass meant for Araminta. The father Agnol, the local side, looking more confident from the word go. Choti Mera. He's trying to utilize the, the right channel. Father Agnol coach. Supreme Satana. This is the third of the the matches lined up today. And here's uh, Ram Prasad Mandal. Chatudas Pali High School Kolkata coach. Chatudas Pali have taken uh, two goals in the league stage. The biggest margin that the one was on the, the New Year day when they beat uh, the school from Kochi, Mar Augustine's school by 26 goals to nil. Here's Chatu Despali attack. Shiny Nesta. Susmita Bardhan. Uh, Again, Rocky Kayal are the two players on the fray for the Golden Boot. Chatu Despali have to be defensively organized. Jyoti Sharma, the captain, asking a question or two to the Match official, Judy Shaw. The Father Agnel girls are uh, looking more agile. That's the captain. Puja Dhamal. Suti Lakshmi. He's one of their set piece specialists. Can kick it tall into the area and spilling it over. That would have been dangerous. Rinky around the Chaturdas Pali shot stopper. Caught in two minds. Whether to collect, whether to feast it away. That results in the corner kick for the Father Agnol. That one curl in. From the far right again, Jyoti Mera. 
she's the one very active on the the right flank for the Agnol uh, school have scored uh, 35 goals in the three matches that they played on 3rd of January in the last league match they beat uh, the Ryan International School of Delhi 19 nil Kolkata in the attack From the right. You're watching the second semi final in the senior girls category of the national finals of Reliance Foundation Youth Sport. It's been a great vision of the founder and chairperson of the Reliance Foundation, Samathi Nitambani. Pressure. Ankita. Abruta. Good turn on that. Lucky Kayal. Should is offside. Shiny Naska. Timothy Ambani's uh, dream had been uh, that the sports should complement the academics by imbibing the values of teamwork, discipline and the leadership amongst youth. On site for the Agnol in the attack and that touch was a uh, little far too away. Mosami. That true pass was meant for uh, Saini Naska. Jyoti. Somadas defending. Uh, and that is a very good ball for Father Agnol. Can they go ahead? Left foot. Straight on to Rinki Oro. That should have been scored. Lovely ball in. Father Agno. Multi purpose school in junior college, Mumbai. The side is looking. Very organized. They're dominating each uh, area of the game. What a chance wasted there. Should straight enter the goalkeeper. Akanksha Kandalka. Chatu Despali in the attack. Should be offside.
With just about 10 minutes to play going in the first half. Uh, still no goals here. Chattodas Pali High School, Kolkata taking on uh, for the Agnol Multipurpose uh, School in Junior College, Mumbai. That's a long ranger. Kolkata coach has to work on uh, his keeper, Rinky around. Tendency to have butter fingers. Signing. Good ball in. Good one, two. Falling back in support of Amruta. Chatu Daspali in the attack. Right foot. It was a good pass sent in by Susmita Bardhan. But again, little space there on the left, and uh, Card is out for this challenge. kick in favor of uh, Father Agnol. That was a long one sent in from uh, Surti Lakshmi. So the Kolkata captain Jyoti Sharma booked. Good clearance that. Thwarting the other Jyoti, Jyoti Mera. That's Jyoti Sharma. Chaturdas Pali High School, Kolkata. Chance here for Kolkata. Rushing out of the charges, Ankita Shende. She's hardly been tested. Pranali Shetty, good ball in. Once again, chance for Father Agnol to go ahead. But Rinky around. Making a save there. That's the captain, Puja Dhamal. Sticking in a good ball from the far left, Manta. Tripped and fell. Again, a wrong pass. Rocky Kayal. Not finding a teammate. Ambruta. Passing back to Afrin. Afrin Pirvoy. Smoothie Lakshmi. Jyoti Mera. The Father Agnel captain, Puja Dhamal. Instruction from the Kolkata coach. Chatur Daspalli in the first chair. Uh, Group League match lost to Rosari High Secondary School Goa a couple of goals and then that uh, the stupendous victory against the Mar Agustin School Kochi 26 0. That was on the 1st of January. And the last Group League match uh, they beat uh, Dakshin Guwahati Junior College of Go Guwahati 20 0. So they have scored 46 goals in the group stage. Jyoti Sharma, captain of Kolkata.
chance for Kolkata to come back to the attack. But very cheap giveaways. There's a, a play injured. Down on the pitch. Kea Devnath. Got a knock. It's pretty humid and hot out here in Mumbai. The mercury rising. 27, 28 degrees Celsius. Players are prone to uh, little muscle injuries. Slight niggle here and there. Shruti Lakshmi. There's chance for Kolkata. Shiny. Once again, good one, two. Overdoing it, Kolkata. Gives chance for the Mumbai girls to regroup in the defense. It took so much of time there. Lovely one to again from the far left. Moving in, Priti Verma. We passed halfway in the first session of the second semi final, the senior girls category. And remember, this match is of an hour's duration, so 30 minutes in each half. Soma Das, the left wing back of uh, Kolkata. Good forward ball from Lucky Kayal, intercepted well by the Mumbai defense. The Mumbai defense is very stout, and very solid. Once again, the burst of speed from Priti. That was a push. Quite evident. Off green. Very good chest trap. Straight on to Ankita Shinde. Afrin allows it to be rolled on. Shiny. One against three. Swati Lakshmi. That's rescued. One from Priti Verma. He's almost on the roll for hind sweeper behind the three uh, frontal women. Priti Verma on the left, Suti Lakshmi in the middle, and Amruta on the right. Kolkata not being allowed to settle down. A good turn here from Shiny. Rocky Kayal, good forward ball in. But offside is shiny. The defense is very tight. And again, uh, Shiny Naska getting that wall pass from Rocky Kayal. Pranali Seti, good ball in. Father Agnol. Trying to rush up there was Araminta. Pranali Seti. Straight to the Kolkata shot stopper. The 
for the Agnol uh, Multi-Purpose School in Junior College, Mumbai. In the opening match of the league stage at Beaten B, the Bishop School of Pune by 12 goals to nil. And in the new day, they beat the PS Senior Secondary School Chennai by four goals to nil. And on 3rd of January, they beat Ryan International School Delhi by 19 goals to nil. Good header, Swati Lakshmi. Good ball for Mamta. She's got the speed. Jyoti trying to run at the angle. Very good challenge. And a very legitimate one. That is brilliant. The Kolkata captain. Jyoti Sharma attacking the ball, not the women. In the fray for the golden boot again, uh, there are two players playing now. Rocky Kayal of Kolkata having scored 12 goals, and Chatur Daspalli, the other uh, winger, Susmita Bardhan. Pressure again for the Agnol, left footer. That was a very good attempt by Pranali Seti. That didn't go in. There's just about uh, seven and a half minutes left for the Lemon break. Still no goals here. Kolkata defending. Most part of the first half, they had to defend. His father Agnol have up the ante. They're looking the better side. The local team. Finally to the captain Puja Thamal. Good forward ball. Mamta. Little too long for her to reach. And on the fray for the golden ball again. Uh, Akanksha Kandulkar is one on ten points. So is uh, Akshata from Rosari. Aditi, the PS uh, senior secondary, we are out in the semi final. And Susmita Bardhan of Chaturdaspalli. So these are the, the ones in the run for the golden ball. That's the player of the tournament. Puja, the captain. Good ball in. Suti Lakshmi, all by herself. Takes a right footer. Little wayward. Couldn't reach the near post. There's power in the punch. This is the national finals in the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports Football Tournament. Again, the tournament was held in the in two phases. The city championships in Chennai, Delhi, Goa, Guwahati, Kochi, Kolkata, Mumbai, and Pune. Rocky Kayal falling back in desperation. But once again, Puja, the captain, Mumbai in the attack. 
could be the goal number one no not it is Rick Orao comes out of the charge she's injured what a good ball couldn't reach in the right time is Akanksha Kandalkar she's one uh, under the fray for the golden uh, ball award There's a bit of stoppage, uh, chance to cool off. Again, the mercury rising here in the business capital of India. We are at the Cooperage. In the second semi final of the senior girls category, the Reliance Foundation News Sports being streamed live on uh, the two platforms. There were a lot of efforts again. Uh, the father Agnel dominating the proceedings. They got so much of opening there. They had uh, a lot of chance to score. That was a very good challenge. Just about uh, two and a half minutes for the lemon break. No goals in the first half. In the terms of position, in terms of the game plan, the strategy, the tactics, the technique, definitely the father Agnol. Uh, multi-purpose school and junior college Mumbai are a little ahead they are well planned unit again offside these girls have all practiced uh, They have uh, gelled together and gelled well, playing as a new unit. Swati Lakshmi. Susmita Bardhan, good ball in. Again, it's offside. Space on the left, Mamta. Kolkata in the attack. Rocky Kyle, good ball in. But again, having have to come out of the charge with the, the keeper Ankita Shinde. Kolkata player is down. Got a hard knock in the, the abdomen. And also the, the hamstring region. Being nursed there on the pitch. May have to be carried off. A lot of instructions from the Father Agnel coach. That was uh, from a very close range. Hard knock. Being 
carrying off the pitch. He's been the captain, Jyoti Sharma. Very spirited. couple of minutes added Kolkata defending the back to the wall very good ball in again onside Jyoti can she get the girl she doesn't just palmed away by Ricky Arau very good ball sent in. Corner kick in favor of the Father Agnel. The balance tilted towards Father Agnel. Rinky Orao out of the charge. Missing that. And the referee, Juhi Shaw, blowing the whistle, indicating the end of the first session of play here in the second semi final of the senior girls category. This is the national finals with the Reliance Foundation Youth Sport. In total domination here are the the Mumbai girls, the local side, Father Agnel Multipurpose School and Junior College. And fighting with their back to the wall, the, the Kolkata side, Chaturdas Pali High School from Kolkata. Most part of the, the fast half an hour, they have been defending. So the coaches would be have, having a lot of uh, work to do, a lot of uh, changing strategy. The half time, there's no goal scored. There were chances created, a lot of openings by the Father Agnel. The Kolkata attacks were fear and far between. The rehab and again now uh, that's the story in the first session the first 30 minutes keep watching the highlights we'll be back after the highlights The half time score here at the Cooperage uh, Chatur Daspali High School, nil. Father Agnel Multipurpose School and Junior College, Mumbai, nil. We'll be right back after the break.
Welcome back to the second half's play in the second semi-final of the senior girls category. And we are live from uh, Cooper Stadium, Mumbai. The halftime, Chatur Daspalli High School, Kolkata nil. Father Agno, multi-purpose school and junior college, Mumbai nil. So no goals so far. Father Agno certainly dominating the proceedings. The team in the, the sky blue and the team in the red, of course, not in the red hot form. Chatudda Spalli High School, Kolkata. So we have one more uh, semi final, the last one lined up today. That's the second semi final of the junior boys uh, category. And you're watching it live on Sony 6, Sony 6 HD, Sony Loop. Chattel this finally to kick off from the left to the right of your screen. Defending the other end is uh, Father Agno. Kolkata in the attack. They planned it differently now most part of the first half they had to defend there's a national uh, final phase of the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports football tournament this is the second semi-final of the senior girls category and to take you through to the end I'm Palla Basmalik here, welcoming you to the lovely coverage in Mumbai. Swati Lakshmi. Kolkata defending Madhumita Day. Most part of the first half, uh, certainly the father, Agnol, dominated the local side. Captain Puja. Pushing there. Care, they have not. This is why the referee blew the whistle. The player is down there. The other one back to back. Uh, <laughs> a lot of pushing. The hand going into the eye. Quite unintentional, though. Still no uh, goals here. kick in favor of Kolkata Kolkata trying to attack okay a good ball in but then to follow up on to on 
Kita szczędy. Puja Dhamal trying to get that uh, wall pass back. But again, Mumbai attacking through the middle was the Kansha Kandalkar, the one who's in the fray for the Golden Boot Award, the player of the tournament, Kolkata attacking from the right, Kea. The Kolkata side even put their thoughts together. Did bit of talking. It was most part of the first half. They had to defend. That's a good ball in again. Space on the left. Should be a good finish for Mumbai. What a chance wasted again. In the clear was Mamta Acharya. She had all the time to place the ball. Could have done better because the far post was absolutely unguarded. The goalkeeper had it covered in the near post. But what a lovely ball put in from the far right. That was from the a pass from Jyoti Mara. Smoothie Lakshmi. Infringement by Sani Halda. So the referee uh, giving a free kick in favor of uh, Father Agnel. This is the second semi final in the senior girls category. As of the senior girls, each one are under 18. The 11th of the 12th standard students. And all these city final winners of the city champions are here for the national finals in the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. This has been a wonderful tournament. Floated in again, Smuthi Lakshmi. Left foot, should go in. He didn't stop that. Lovely score from Akansha Kandalka. The lady who is uh, already in the fray for the golden ball. That was floated in. Pranali. And look at Akansha taking that uh, side volley. Just through the far post. It hit the upright. Went in. Brilliant strike that. Great one. It was inevitable. The goal was coming. Look at that. It went in. Great goal. So the Mumbai side is up through that lovely goal coming from Akansha Kandalkar. She's leading on the points table for the player of the tournament. And this goal would certainly add a few points. No. What could be the reaction of Chaturdash Palli? Side from Kolkata. You're somehow off color. Oh, 
कॉर्नर किक फॉर कोलकाता we have to bring up more uh, girls into the penalty area trying a shorter variation so mothers great skill there rocky kayal the mumbai girls certainly are uh, physically more adjusted once again chance here for mamta can she increase the tally but a very timely challenge that's from uh, choti slight challenge on uh, mamta good one by the captain she is very energetic needing the team together going through the right again kya debdant susmita bardan she's one of the leading goal scorers again right footer attempted by the captain pooja thamal remember this is a 60 minute match 30 minutes in each half the second semi final in the junior the senior girls category one more semi final lined up today that is the the second semi final of the junior boys where our lady of perpetual sacker high school goa will take on sacred heart hsss kochi so back to back uh, semi finals here Cooperage uh, blooming with action and a lot of footballing action. And in a couple of days now, this uh, stadium will be filled with the I League action, the National League of the. of our country we have the local challenge mumbai fc that's loaded in back again to the action jyoti Pooja to the right, lot of space there. Can she cut in, Jyoti Mera? Just one goal. Kolkata girls are defending running out of ideas they have to fight back they are down by a goal it was a great strike by akanksha the second striker of uh, for the agno multi purpose uh, school and junior college 
the local side from Mumbai. They have the sports culture. So who would be the other finalist? Good ball in. Little far too long. In the senior uh, girls category. Already having reached the finals of the Rosari High Secondary School from Goa. So which is the side going to take on um, the Goa side? Is it Mumbai or Kolkata? Good ball in again, Akansha. He's limping a bit, Akansha. Number 13 of the blue. Scored a brilliant goal that must have made the coach happy. Supreet uh, Jatana. Offering good clearance. Father Agnell, multi purpose school in Junior College, Mumbai, are the Group B champions of the national law finals. Senior girls category. In the league state, they have scored 35 goals and have maintained three clean sheets in the three matches. So that's a brilliant performance. Can they repeat the feat today? Mamta to the captain Puja. Good ball in Mamta. She's got the speed, but that touch uh, it went far off. Akansha is done, injured. Injury issues here. While turning, she got a hard knock. So, what a brilliant goal scored that. Look at that. Great work. Akansha, left foot. And what a wild way to celebrate. So walking off the park. She's the one who is in the run for the Golden Ball Award. The player of the tournament. Got a knock on her right ankle. Hope the injury is not too serious. We pass midway in the second half of the second semi final. The senior girls category. The lady referee blowing the whistle. Juhi Shaw. From the middle, switching to the far left, trying to utilize the flank, chatted the spalli, but they have to work on their passing. Mamta. Puja. That's a goal scorer. The one I was talking about, Akanksha. Again, a little challenge by the captain, Jyoti Sharma. Not legitimate. 
that's what the referee feels a match official Slender one goal lead by the Father Agnon Multipurpose School and Junior College. Can the Kolkata side fight back? But they have got the talent. Susmita Bardhan can score. Raki Kayal. Puja Sri Halder. But they are somehow subdued. Maybe not in the right frame of mind. Ended up as a Group A runner-up to his uh, Chatuddas Palli. And they know they're up against a very strong side in Father Agnol. Good ball in. Saved for a corner kick. Kolkata. Sign of little panic there. Mausami Purkite. didn't take chances good attempt and that's a goal number two great one from Mumbai again and they all celebrate in the huddle number nine Jyoti Mera Gets the insurance goal for Father Agnol. The writing was on the wall. Look at that. No way the shot stopper could reach it. Great strike to the far post. Reiki Orao beaten hands down. That's uh, Jyoti Mera. Given the insurance goal for Father Agnol. So can that ignite uh, the Kolkata girls? They're down by a brace of goals. They have to show a little reaction there. With just about uh, 8 minutes and 15 seconds left for the regulation time to end. Remember, this are uh, an hour's duration, this match. So we are into the second half. So the Mumbai girls should be more confident now. But certainly a far superior side this uh, Father Agnon. down by a brace of goals and again little injury concern again okay uh, they not being attended straight to the face at times that's dangerous Substitution coming up for Kolkata. Chuma Samadha to replace uh, Puja Sri Halda. The entire Kolkata side somehow lost the rhythm. 
that brings in the stocky build uh, Juma. Kolkata player is down again. Referee doesn't stop the game. It was quite a legitimate challenge on uh, Susmita Bardhan. Again, good ball sent in. Jyoti Bera just got one. Trip from behind. He was speeding up Jyoti. Very good uh, set piece for the Mumbai side. It's quite credible that the Mumbai side has maintained clean sheets in all the matches they have played so far, including the three league matches. The Kolkata wall. Four girls there. Have to draw back. Once again, just off the far post. That was uh, Pranali Seti. Just missed by Whisker. So less than four minutes of regulation time left now. It's now only a matter of time for uh, Father Agnol. Multi-purpose school in Junior College, Mumbai girls to get into the final. So it could be a Goa Mumbai affair in the final. The senior girls. The game of uh, soccer so popular in this part of the country, especially Goa. So again, this is Akansha. It's done so well getting that brilliant first goal and look out uh, for her she could be one the player of the tournament the golden ball winner taking a little time out there Ankita Shende not really tested, not put under any great pressure. Pranali Shade lining up that right footer. No great power. This side is looking quite uh, confident for the Agno multi purpose school in the junior college, Mumbai. Mumta again. 
Can they get the goal number three? Good challenge. A little injury problem. Replacement coming up for Mumbai. Oraminta Kamat goes out making room for Saloni Badola. Saloni. Referee doesn't allow. Corner kick. Smuti Lakshmi. Puja offering we nearing completion of the second semi final of the senior girls uh, category in the national finals. Uh, again, little change in the strategy because uh, number 11 was injured, Mamta Acharya. She is now replaced by uh, Saloni Badola. The score line right now. Chatudas Palli. Four minutes added. Good move again. Challenge, but Rinky Oral makes a very good save. It was a good run by Afrin. There have been a lot of stoppages, so four minutes added now. Gives a little chance for the Kolkata girls it's uphill to fight back against this formidable Mumbai side Aloka Kolkata going from the left Soma Das Cohesion was lacking, but this is a good pass again. Space on the left. Trying for that wall pass. Soma with uh, Rocky Kayal. Kolkata, last ditch effort. So again, it's uh, been fascinating uh, work by the Father Agnol Multipurpose School in the Junior College Girls. Long range attempted straight on to Anketa Shinde. She doesn't make a mistake. To the right. Pass one. But offside. 
Chuma, some other. That was uh, the long range attempted, but very safe. And a good collection at the end by Ankita Sarda and the referee. Juhi Shaw blows the whistle, indicating the end of the second semi final to the Father Agnal Multi Purpose School in the Junior College, Mumbai, have reached the final and they take on Rosari High Secondary School from Goa. So it's going to be a Mumbai to Goa affair in the finals of the senior girls category. It was almost a one sided fight. Certainly the better team won today. Chattel the Spalli somehow out of rhythm. The new day were up against a very strong side. <coughs> so done extremely well this uh, the Mumbai girls. The Hubble. And what a brilliant goal that uh, from Akanksha Kandalka, the one who was injured and had to be replaced. Uh, but she's in the fray for the Golden Boot Award. And here's a huddle, here's a celebration. Akanksha Kandalka, the player of the match. And it was the balance was tilted always towards the Father Agno multi purpose school and the Junior College Mumbai, who are into the finals. The Kolkata side somehow couldn't fight back. So into the finals, the Goa side, Rosari. High secondary school, Goa. And they're up against now the Father Agnal Multipurpose School and Junior College, Mumbai. Who's done a clinical performance here. The story of the match, the highlights. An immaculate performance at the end, reaching the finals for the Agnal Multipurpose School and the Junior College Mumbai. They beat in Chaturdespalli High School by two goals to nil. And we are back to Cooperage live again with the second semi-final of the Junior Boys category. Keep watching. 